What's going on Washington Commander fans? It's your boy back with another video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content definitely on the way. Before the Panthers game, my homeboy called me. And he was like, yeah, y'all better watch out. Could be an upset this week. And, you know, before this game, I was thinking, you know, that could be possible. And I, I didn't erase that out the memory banks. I didn't I didn't think that Carolina couldn't beat us, you know what I'm saying, in a situation any given Sunday. But at that time when he said it, right before the game, I think it was like about 1.30, something like that, I said, we're going to beat the fuck out of Carolina. Those are my exact words. And we both started laughing. And that's what happened. That's what happened. We're coming. If you're an inferior product, we're going to destroy you. That's what we do. If you got an inferior defense or a non-confident team or a team that's not well coached, you can run up to a buzzsaw when you see us. That's what you're going to run into. You're going to run into a straight buzzsaw. Even with Jaden going down. J when Jaden went down, it was 10 to nothing. We put 30 more up. Just to let you know it's not a game. Get used to this. Get used to this. Jaden, he could play this week. If not, I would rather have Jaden starting, of course, but I wouldn't be mad if Marcus started. But I think Jaden, the competitor he is, and I think he'll be ready to go. But if not, let's go with Marcus because you still got B-Rob to deal with. You still got our O-line to deal with. You still got Terry to deal with. You still got Dan Quinn to deal with. You still got Joe Witt to deal with. Frankie Louvu to deal with. Cliff Kingsbury to deal with. This team is getting better and better each week. Now, the crazy thing, you know, it's a lot of fans. I mean, every time I cut on. Washington Commanders content, not content. Every time I go to anything Washington Commanders, whether it's on X or whether it's on Facebook, Facebook groups, or whatever the case may be, I always hear, we should get this guy. We should trade for this guy. We need to get this guy. No, we don't. We need to continue the plan that Adam Peters and Dan Quinn set forth. If getting a player isn't in their plans, I'm not mad. Because so far, with all the things that they've done, a redesign and recalibrating this football team, we're five and two. So I think everything is going according to plan. So I don't think there's really no reason to get off the plan. The plan's working. The plan is working. We're going in with nine draft picks and $90 million next year. Why do we need anything to interrupt that flow? And now you got a player like Jaden Daniels. Guess what? The free agency is a whole lot easier when you have a player like Jaden Daniels because now you're going to have offensive weapons that's Hey, man, I want to play with him. You're going to have old linemen that's going to be like, dang, I want to block for him. You're going to have free defensive free agents that's going to be like, only thing that D is missing is me. And we got him. So it makes it a whole lot easier to build a team. And plus, you still got Jaden for cheap. So you might as well just sit back, enjoy this ride. Enjoy this beautiful ride. That's all. We, we, we're recalibrating. You've been bad for 25 years. There's no need to rush it. We got to get this thing right so winning becomes sustainable week to week. No matter who we play, we have a chance to win the game. Not you hoping we're going to win the game. Because in the past, I always thought we were going to win the game. Even with Case Keenum starting. 
don't matter, Taylor Heineke. I'm always going to think of a way that we can possibly win that game. But having full confidence coming in the last week, and I'm straight up told my peoples that we're going to beat the fuck out of Carolina, that lets you know where we are as a football team. Because I've been watching this team, man, I keep telling y'all, for the longest. This shit, this, man, look, we haven't had a functioning office from the owner to the head coach to the general manager since the Bobby Beathard, Charlie Cassidy, Joe Gibbs, and I'm missing somebody, and Jack Kent Cook. When you got all three of the functioning bodies working as one, that's how organizations are built. This is why San Fran's doing what they're doing. This is why Baltimore's doing what they do. This is why the Eagles do what they do. Because, and, and the Eagles, now they got one of those, that head coach. And that's why they're teetering, you can see, coaching matters. We're well prepared every week. Dan Quinn, Cliff Kingsbury, Joe Witt Jr. Yes, I said Joe Witt Jr. Because when he gets all, can y'all imagine when he gets all his toys? He don't even have all his horses. This is some makeshift D what we put together on the fly just getting here of some guys that Dan Quinn was familiar with. Guys that's going to play hard. Selfless guys who not thinking about themselves. Just got one common cause of winning. That's how you start building the foundation right there. Guys that have one common goal that we're here to win. I'm not here to try to pat my stats. I'm already getting paid. I'm trying to win. And you can see what we put together, man. But hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content is definitely on the way. And let's take command. Oh,